20,000 people die of cancer every day. This translates to 8 million deaths every year, half a million of which are Americans. At the beginning of the last century, one person out of 20 would get cancer. In the 1940s, it was one out of every 16 people. In the 1970s, one person out of 10. Today, one person out of three gets cancer in the course of their life. Over one million Americans are diagnosed with a new cancer every year. All these people suddenly plunge into a dark tunnel that will dramatically change their life for many years to come. Faced with an apparently endless chain of medical tests, examinations, second opinions, medications, new tests, surgical operations, support therapies, and follow-up checks, they find themselves at the complete mercy of the disease. While in that tunnel, each patient feeds an immense medical apparatus that employs hundreds of thousands of people and generates millions and millions of dollars for the medical and pharmaceutical industries. From research laboratories to medical schools, from prevention clinics to worldwide drug sales, today the cancer medical apparatus is so large and expensive that it needs its patients in order to survive just as much as the patients need the apparatus. Cancer is a big business, one of the biggest businesses. The typical cancer patient spends at least $50,000 to treat his or her disease. With one million new American cancer patients every year, that translates to $50 billion annually spent on cancer treatment in the United States. Hello and welcome to this special edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. With more and more Americans looking for a natural path to better health, it's no wonder approximately 87% of people in the U.S. today regularly take some form of dietary supplement. We'll discover the important role amino acids and other natural elements play in our bodies. Many of these elements can be obtained through diet and natural supplementation. We'll learn how one manufacturer has created a whole food supplement with the goal of delivering these essential elements. Elements which some physicians believe are the key to improving your health of diets and lifestyles. Part of the reason for this adaptability is the body's ability to maintain homeostasis, a state where all of the body's systems work together to maintain balance. We began by speaking with doctors Esther Mark, Jack Hurd, and Charles Norwood, all experts in anti-aging and healing. We'll learn more about systems and elements in the body that contribute to maintaining what they call a body in balance. Amino acids are the protein building blocks within the body that build the different connective tissue, the organs, ligaments, and the other connective tissue structures. Peptides are a, a very interesting because peptides are what hold the amino acids together to build the protein. You, you might think of it as the glue in the Lego building blocks. The peptides hold things together so that the proteins can be formed within the body. Essential amino acids are ones that you must consume within the body, that they're not produced within the body. The non-essential amino acids are one that your body is able to produce within its own structure. When you take amino acids, uh, your workout, when, when someone is injured, their muscles are sore, that means there's damage to those muscles, they recover much quicker when they take amino acids. Now, we turn our attention to a family of proteins called fibroblast growth factor. This important protein factor has anti-aging and healing specialists taking notice for its role in improved health. We spoke with clinical nutritionist Dr. Stephen Petrosino. He believes FGF may hold a key to unlocking healing for a range of symptoms, from joint pain and poor quality hair, skin and nails, to poor sleep, low energy, low libido, and even depression. And fibroblast growth factor is essentially a factor that directs uh, some uh, and orchestrates uh, some of the development of undifferentiated stem cells. 
And uh, stem cells are what are called pluripotent cells. They essentially can become anything. A stem cell doesn't know if it's going to become part of the liver or part of the eye or part of the muscle in your arm. Uh, but at one point, there are directions that are given to that undifferentiated stem cell, and that stem cell then differentiates into that particular organ or tissue. And so fibroblast growth factor, or FGF, plays a role in the direction of those undifferentiated stem cells into becoming what they ultimately will become. One of the reasons we believe that uh, fibroblast growth factor is beneficial in areas of damage is that uh, when fibroblast growth factor uh, can direct uh, the development of stem cells to repair tissue, uh, that, uh, that helps with a uh, repair of damage that occurs perhaps in the brain, in the heart, or other parts of uh, body tissues. Fibroblast growth factor is present uh, in areas of the body where there's damage, and they're involved in the healing process and also in uh, the uh, importance of stem cells. Research on FGF began over 80 years ago when it was discovered to exist in a surprisingly common whole food source. Dr. Davidson uh, was a uh, renowned medical doctor that uh, practiced in Canada uh, from the late 1920s into the 1940s. And his research uh, uh, was done primarily with fertilized eggs. And uh, he actually found a process by which uh, an extract of the white of a fertilized uh, hen's egg was freeze-dried and he used that extract to treat patients with cancer and was finding remarkable success. About 50 years later, other researchers in Norway uh, found by serendipity this research and uh, added to it and the end result is the product we know as laminine. Studies showed that uh, fibroblast growth factor concentrates in areas of the body that are undergoing, uh, have undergone damage. Uh, that study looked at areas of the brain and found that where there was damage, like a stroke, fibroblast growth factor would concentrate in the area of the damage to assist in the repair. Welcome back to the American Health Journal. We now take a close look at a supplement called Laminine that aims to deliver a combination of amino acids and fibroblast growth factor. Physicians tell us this combination may work as an adaptogen in the body which may assist patients suffering from a variety of ailments. We spoke with Dr. Kim Jabrowski and Bernard Schauda and others involved in the research and development of whole food supplements. Well, Laminine is a unique product. First of all, it takes the uh, fertilized avian egg uh, right at the uh, specific stage before it creates a full-blown chicken, if you will. All of the life essence, all the ingredients necessary to create life at their highest point at a particular stage. Laminine extracts part of that in conjunction with a marine protein and a plant protein that synergistically work together to have an unbelievable effect on the body. We've been in the business, in the supplements business for the past 12 years. Uh, we've had some success at it. We've had hundreds of products out in the market. But as someone who is in the supplements business, we are always uh, on the lookout or on a search for that one perfect supplement that we could uh, that encompasses all the health benefits whether it's in one capsule or in one tablet we have discovered uh, a unique ingredient back in 2003 which was made of a fertilized egg extract we have a product that is actually manufactured uh, in Southern California here. It's produced by a GMP lab, Good Manufacturing Practices, which are overseen by the regulatory bodies for the quality and assurance of the product. So we have an American-made product. Laminine is a very interesting product because what it essentially is is a functional food. And as we all know, nutrition is the source that we all need to live. It's the fuel that we live on. Unfortunately, in today's world, all the food that we eat, we tend to saute it and grill it and fry it, and we do all these wonderful things to our food which really uh, delight our palate, but it doesn't always provide our body what it truly needs. 
the question, what is the effective ingredient in laminine? And uh, the answer is that uh, laminine is essentially a whole food. Uh, it uh, is an extract from a nine-day fertilized uh, uh, avian egg or hen's egg. Uh, the, uh, uh, the hen has been raised uh, pretty much in organic standards, so it's a good high-quality egg. They extract on the ninth day from this fertilized egg the white of the egg. The white of the egg contains important elements, including fibroblast growth factor, uh, as well as uh, a range of 20 very important amino acids. The essential uh, life uh, function to support the chick that's going to be developing in that egg. So the egg is harvested on the ninth day. These factors are at their greatest concentration. Uh, the product is freeze dried or lyophilized, uh, meaning it's put into a powdered form without the application of heat. And because of that, these fragile proteins are not damaged or denatured. And it's uh, 20 amino acids. You need 22. So they've also brought an amino acid from the green pea and also one from fish to balance out. And you have both, in, in that case, all the essential and non-essential amino acids. And so it's a total uh, protein building blocks with the laminine. And it's so important because when there's tissue damage or injury or over workouts, this, this laminine really does rebuild the tissues. I had a patient recently that, that was uh, getting very sore after workouts. He began on the laminine and, and his recovery time is so much quicker. Homeostasis, equilibrium, achieving this balance in your body can help you sleep or give you energy or perhaps help with aching joints, improving skin, hair, and nail quality. It can aid in maintaining concentration and focus. It can relieve depression or anxiety. Doctors report that laminine, a whole food product, is helping patients bring about a homeostatic state, which can help relieve these symptoms. So when we look at providing nutrition to the body in the form of a whole food, we're talking about providing it in its raw source with all the nutrients that are required for the body to be able to utilize that. Now let's look at that as opposed to something like a drug as an example. A drug is a chemical. It forces the body to do something whether the body wants to or not. That's a chemical reaction. What we're doing here is we're inviting the body to a place of healing. We're inviting the body to a response by providing it the nutrients that it needs. So it's a totally different concept between forcing and inviting. That to me is the ideal for alternative health. Many nutritional supplements are associated with uh, uh, beneficial effects in the folks that take them. And the list with laminine was so extensive uh, that I at first dismissed it because uh, as a clinical scientist myself, I'm used to uh, looking at uh, nutritional supplements that have benefits in one specific area. For instance, the B vitamins having benefit in energy. And uh, uh, for instance, uh, collagen products helping the joint. Uh, and. Uh, uh, other products having benefits in the area of sleep, but rarely did I ever see one product with so many benefits. Some of the longer term benefits uh, I've found with laminine is increased energy and stamina. Uh, again, we have clinicals to back this up, and I personally use it even today every time I go to the gym. It's not a wiry type energy that you might expect from caffeine or drinking coffee or anything like that. It's a strong intercourse stamina. And of course, it has been proven clinically to actually increase strength. I think that when people are feeling good health-wise, they just, they smile, they feel better. You know, when you provide these nutrients to the body, whether we are actually helping the body uh, create more serotonin in the brain, that happy chemical that, that gives us uh, that happy, good outlook on life, um, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. We tend to want to contribute more. We want to be more socially engaged. We want to go and contribute in our, in our whole society more. You know, a lot of people come home from work, they lock themselves in their house, and they just don't feel good enough to go out and, and really uh, interact with people. Uh, I think this product helps us just raise the health integrity of our body to a point that we just, we feel good about what we're doing and going out and, and getting new things done. I hear uh, heartwarming stories from customers and people who are taking the product, whether it's had an effect on their parents, family, loved ones, but such heartwarming stories that I hear every day, and that's why we're in this business. I'm Roger Cooper. Thanks for joining us.